Yep. I like his mega base. It's not even done yet. He hasn't even started his mega base. I know. That's why I like it. Hey guys. Welcome back to another video in Dualcraft SMP Season 2. Well, not SMP. Yeah, it's SMP, but it's just called Dualcraft Season 2. Uh, so we are back with our base here. And actually, what I want to do this episode is work on the interior. So I'm filming this afterwards, and I'm still in the airport for my other videos. And so I just want to let you guys know that... I worked really hard on this interior to make it as Greek as possible because the outside looks more Japanese with the top floor. And so the top floor, I don't end up finishing it. I'm going to make it into like a little like someone can buy it for me. It'll, it'll be my Airbnb. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm proud of this build, but it needs an interior. So let's do that first. Bro, no way. There's a we got a villager here. A villager just spawned in my village. I thought I, I thought all the villagers died, but I guess this guy survived somehow. Then that's great that more villagers are spawning again after people kind of killed them all. Wait, no way. Viewers, do you see what I'm seeing? This man is our key to building our farm. Viewers, look, we can do this. All right, guys. No, we can do that. Stonks, viewers. Okay, viewers, so we do need, as we saw from that little uh, thing with that villager, we can pretty much get infinite bricks without having to smelt it all. So we've got to gather all this clay, and this broke my armor. No. And we actually do that for the floor, guys, so that's why- Oh, nope, this drown's gonna kill us, and it's surrounding all our clay. It's just normal clay? Yeah, it's, it's just a uh, normal clay. Okay, let me go check. How about nine, nine iron? Nine iron? Yeah. You know what? That's half of what, that's half the iron that I own. I won't do that. You will? Yeah. That's half the iron I own. That's only five. You promised me six stacks. Six? That is six stacks. No, it's five. That's five and thirty. Oh, the one in my oh no! Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. enough. No, that's good. I don't need any more. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. There's none in my inventory. Yes. Oh, John, John with the trident. Let me go. Oh my God! That thing actually is. It's a good deal, guys. I think I think you gave me too much clay that I might not be able to do this, but we'll see if it works. Oh yes, I see that emerald you're holding. You don't have to, no yeah, I see you. You don't have to try and convince me. Uh let's see. Oh frick. Okay guys, so I'm here and just because I it kind of is taking forever to smelt from that one furnace, I decided to use my super smelter, which I rarely use. Oh, I have more iron? I didn't even know that. Uh, oh wow, this I like this. It looks like it was like blown through, like they used TNT, which is cool. Yeah. It's like a mine chapel. Yeah, for this part... I'm just gonna, here, if you come through here, then you can see the start of what's gonna be a big room. What's this room gonna be for? Uh, this is gonna be my redstone slash, like, farm room. It's like AFK fish farm. <laughs> Who did 
think have you been watching Risen lately? Yeah. Uh, who do you think is gonna win? Ethan. Really? Uh, I, I don't know if you saw, but uh, in Derpy's stream, he said the opposite, that he was going to get last. I don't think so, because Ethan is a really good Minecrafter. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. The skills to PvP is way to the win. But the thing is, if it ends like that, a PvP instead of a natural death, then I believe Ethan is going to win. Viewers, okay, so that is a lot of bricks. Probably still not enough, honestly. But let's just place it down and hope this is enough for the floor. Can I pay you to help me make my mine, my part of my base? How much are we talking here? Iron? Yeah. Sure. I was getting some berries uh. on my farm. Oh, I'm coming right now. My farm is uh, also known as my brother's old farm that he doesn't use anymore. Oh, the one at the Buddha area? Wait, yeah, yeah, that one. I mean, he still uses it. That was his starter base. He moved on to his mega base now. Yep. I like his mega base. It's not even done yet. He hasn't even started his mega base. Okay, guys, so I am here with Rip Kobe from Risen. Hello. And uh, the reason he's in Dualcraft is, well, what do you think? He, uh, he's in the server now. So he has joined the server. He's the final person joining this season. No one else is going to be allowed to join because it's already a lot of people. Uh, and so, yeah. So welcome to the server. Thanks. He's already gotten a small start. He has a little land, some land over there claimed for a starter base. And why don't you tell him what you have planned for your starter base and mega base? While we walk over to the shopping district. Um, my plan is pretty much I play a lot of basketball, so it's gonna be basketball themed. Actually, let's sleep basically first. Be like a little house with a basketball court outside, and then when I make my mega base, it's gonna be like a huge basketball stadium. Um, where like it's like literally a Lakers stadium, so it'll be really cool. It's it's also to honor and remember Kobe Bryant. Yeah, which is actually what his name comes from. If you, yeah. if you didn't know. So, um, a little bit of insight for you and for the viewers. Uh, so, someone actually owns the shopping district. It's Derpy. He claimed the Derp lands, which was all of the plains on, an, on a giant uh, continent, kind of. And it's not this plains, but he it's like another plains. He owns the whole biome. Uh, and everyone's no one like petitioned against it, so he owns it all now. And he's gonna turn it into the hit, uh, the new shopping district because I talked with him and we were talking about how like it's kind of ruining my build because everyone always builds their ugly shops next to mine, like the dirt and cobblestone has shops that people make. So uh, yeah, and we talked and he decided to make the shopping district his points because he's already built his starter base, which is the Buddha ruins. And he's or and he's gonna build his mega base somewhere else, which is gonna be in the middle of that uh, water way over there. So he's made the shopping district over here, but it's not free. You can rent a space out. Um, it's not too expensive, but uh, yeah, I think it costs some iron or so. I get one free uh, shop slot. Uh, okay, deal. Um, come with me then. I actually need to eat first. Hey guys, I'm on top of a different building now, and, uh, yeah, you're probably confused with what's going on in these few clips. It can take up less than a fourth of all the land. A fourth or less. Oh, okay. And so, what's happening in the clip where me and Derpy are, where he's saying, oh, you can have a fourth of the district. Let me go sleep before I finish explaining this. Okay, we're back. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much he's, the reason why he's saying, oh, you can have a fourth of the shopping district is because I pretty much, I'm kind of like the pra patron of this building. I gave him all the materials and money to spend on building this building for all the, like, spruce wood and stuff like that. 
and yeah, so I own the fourth of the shopping district for my shops and everything. Uh, so I have a few ideas planned, including, uh, since I went to Italy, I got inspired, and over there behind us, I'm gonna build a little Venice mini shopping district, and sell the plots as shops to make more stonks, and I'm also gonna build, uh, a desert temple shop, and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much all you need to know when I'm showing Derpy around, I'm, I, and no one knew about this, so I have to kind of tell everyone, and you can kind of see, this is filmed a lot later, so you can see in the background, some people are starting to build their own shops, so yeah, the district hasn't really gotten much progress, but everyone's about to start building shops, so it should be looking pretty crowded pretty soon. Okay, so, oh yeah, uh, so he, oh, that's cool, he just built that's this building. Nice. Nah, he, he's been building this recently, and by the way, this cobblestone wall, everything inside of this land is what he owns, but everything outside of it, I think he's selling for shops. So, wait, look, what's the sign say? He changed it. Oh, hanging wait, gardens re- Yeah. Hanging Gardens Real Estate, nice. This is cool, next yeah. to his Japanese uh, Buddha settlement. Schedule a real estate appointment. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of paper. Yes, yeah, so you have to take one, use the anvil, and uh, good stuff will happen. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, so what are your plans for your base? Um, one is to make a farm, and two is probably, I'm going to start my starter base off. Nice. Any specific color schemes you're going for? Or any specific styles? Uh, I think it's going to be like a wood with... Actually, I need like... It's going to be some... I forgot what the wood's called. I'll tell you what the wood's called, and I'll tell you like what type of block. Okay. And what color, and then maybe you can help me tell me which block I tried to do. Yeah. Uh, we'll oh, yeah, by the way, Mochi has finished his uh, starter house. It looks really nice. He's getting out of a bee farm up there, but other than that, it's done. And mop top space is also done. Oh, yeah, I need to make a mine. Thanks. Yeah, there's a couple of public mines. Like, there's the biggest public mine I can show you later on. It's at I'm OMG's make, base. I'm making my own private mine. Oh, nice. Just make sure you say it's private, because otherwise people will use it. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, put a board out and say it's private. Mine. Yeah. And it, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, I was oh, lagging. Yeah, okay. uh, oh, what you could do is you could, um, you could, like, pay, pay, make people pay for a subscription. Yeah, if, if they want to do, yeah, I'll make, like, a subscription. Oh, there's some copper. That was flat up from up there. Oh. It's only one. It's only one, but it was just up there. Um, okay, yeah, so, do you need any help? Uh, no, I think I'll be good. You can... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to go work on my interior now, and then I'll come back to check on you. No more torches. We're just going to place them around the house like this, and we can, like, pair them up and stuff. So, oh, yeah, we do need to light them. I don't have a flint and steel. That's lovely. Uh, we'll light them in a second, but the only bad thing about this is it kind of takes up a lot of space. But I can't complain, because I'm- that's how the ancient Greeks live. Okay, and we'll add, we'll add more candles to the top floor, but for now this is fine. Let's go get a flint and steel. Hey guys, um, this is Editor Arch here, and I'm just, uh, over here because this audio got cut out, but pretty much what's happening here is that I discovered a new feature of the 1.20 pot, and that it kind of looks like it's a pillar of sorts, and it, like, really work looks good with sandstone, and I just like it so much, as you can see in this clip, so I experienced some more fit in a little bit, as you'll see, but I just want to show you guys this. Uh, and, yeah, so it's just a really cool feature. I don't think anyone has ever knew known this before, which is a very random feature, uh, and it's only possible because it's not, it's above one block tall. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to explain here, but the audio, again, got cut out, and there's nothing I can do about that, so, yeah, and I'll eventually add some more stuff, but, yeah, for now, I just want to talk about that. This is cool, like, a little tunnel thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's, like, he wants me to put the metro tunnel entrance here, or if it's just a part of his base, but it's cool. He's been making some progress. Okay, guys, so what's happening next is, as you saw, there's, like, a water elevator in my base, but it doesn't have any soul sand or magma in it. 
So I think the clip got cut, I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was pretty much me gathering some a piece of magma and saying, oh, we're gonna, oh, hello, spider. Uh, and so pretty much, oh, okay, I'm gonna be killing the spider with my hand. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well, this is like a little, hmm, thing. That's kind of for foreboding what's about to happen, foreshadowing of sorts, because I am going to go to the, to the nether to get some soul sand, but I don't know why I went without making some diamond armor, because, like, a, not even a little bit, because I do have the diamonds to do that. But I don't know, I wasn't thinking. I thought I could survive. And uh, why am I swimming like that? I don't know. But anyways, I decided to go to the nether and I end up dying like 20 times. Once in the first place and then the rest of the times I just died trying to get my stuff. So yeah, enjoy this this montage with some classical music that'll hopefully inspire you to, I don't know, maybe be a little bit more thoughtful about going to the nether next time. Wait, is it- there's soul sand inside the- the nether fortresses, isn't there? Oh, frick. You know what? I deserve that. this mud brick roof just because I, well first of all i'm going to be using this for my pathways uh because i did find a lot of mud so uh, and this this that and i did this before i went in to the nether oh yeah speaking of which uh so yeah we need to do the interior of that area that you can make candles slow if you like the block if you break the block underneath them so in our little library where this will be a functional library and there'll be stuff on either side for this side will probably be more like storage like lapis enchanted books and stuff and this side will be other stuff that i put inside uh so th i just thought that's a cool little touch because i also didn't know that was gonna happen this is gonna be the bedroom i still have to get sandstone for the wall actually so we're gonna get to that first, and then this room, you know, I think it's gonna be for my dogs, just because I have a lot of dogs, I need a place to, it sounds bad to like store them, or to have, to, uh, to, for them to live in. So I think we'll turn that area into that. Okay guys, so I have completely finished the inside. See, this area is very cozy though, the only thing is it's not very great, so we could maybe just have like some random stuff up here. We'll start off from the whole house. As you walk past Vanilla, our lovely dog, and put past this chest monster, and actually you could follow me, Vanilla. And then you go in here past all the glow leeching and dried roots. And by the way, yeah, Vanilla, see, she's not even teleporting. So here we have the kitchen with a frying pan, a bowl, and you can op open up for some food, which I still have to put in there, but... Yeah, and then here's the nether wart farm, which is just a farm, and actually we can put something in here now. Oh, uh, so yeah, and then... Oh, we should put a brewing stand in here. Why did I just think of that now? We'll put a brewing stand here or something when we actually... Actually, we do have one. Okay, I'll do that out of episode. Uh, it's uh, lots of pottery and stuff. These pillars are holding all in place. Here's our storage system. Very cluttered right now, but I'll fix it up. Then over here is where we put all our different famous pottery works, which once we get more pottery frames, we'll add stuff to this. Which I figured out how to do it in a creative world. You just replace one of the bricks with is the frame piece so yeah here's the little shelf over here too and then if you take this up uh you might have to teleport through this one vanilla uh then you come up here to your library that you can put books in you can make some pots over here in this clay oven and you can go upstairs to the attic or you can come over into my base my main area which is where i just put a yellow bed i'll probably change it to like my color later on i just had a yellow bed from the village just some extra storage where this where we could put any op armor we ever get which we probably don't have a diary or something i'm moving my anvil over here and i just put a grindstone down because i don't think i have one anywhere else uh, there's a bathtub there. Again, this pillar made out of the clay pots, which I think looks really amazing. 
And then here is the dog room. Uh, it's my color scheme of my skin, as you can see from my hand. Uh, it's more the left side, but yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, whenever I have a dog, because you can edit signs now, I'm gonna edit it with their name, so I already have Vanilla up here. And I do have other dogs, I just don't have any of them named. I'm, thank you for watching this video. I think I am gonna end it here, just because, uh, it, this has taken me a long time, even though it feels like it shouldn't have. So I'm just going to move all my stuff over out of the episode. I'm going to Europe for a week or two. No, two weeks. Uh, yeah, not one week. Two weeks. Uh, actually, I'm flying to New York today for a layover, but it's like a multi-day layover, like two days or three days layover. And then, oh yeah, by the way, I have a bone and flesh area over here. And I'll still be active on the server, but I just might, I might make a video. Well, this is probably going to come out when I'm still over there, but I'm just, this is filmed before I leave. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you then.